everybody, I'm Brad from Niagara Wine Videos. I bring you the story behind Niagara's finest wines. I'm standing here with the assistant winemaker of Flat Rock, who make incredible Pinot Noirs. Um, and we're tasting your 2009 Pinot Noir. Is this, um, tell us a little bit about the wine. Uh, uh, this is the 2009 Reserve Pinot Noir, so this is, only comes out in certain years, and uh, only when we think the grapes are at their absolute best. So we have, we're up on the uh, Niagara Escarpment, so we have a real good limestone soil base, and it's perfect for Pinot Noir. Ah. And in real good vintages, we can make our reserve Pinot, and this is seven barrels, that's all we make. Really? Of Just this seven wine. barrels, and if you sweat, it's really intense, real, really loads of depth, really and quality, nice. you know beautiful those. fruit, <laughs> followed through by um, dried herbs, sage and bay. It's got real good length and beautiful palate. You do get that in there. You get the, the, the herbaceousness in there. I think it's a real deep Pinot. So New World Pinots tend to be very um, red fruit, strawberry based, okay. fruit forwards. Whereas this has um, a little bit more restraint and a bit more depth and quality to it. Right. And different layers of complexity. Those earthy uh, qualities yeah, you were talking just about. Just erring on that earthy side without going too far. Yeah, it's a very beautiful nose. So what was, uh, why is 09 such a special vintage uh, cited in Niagara? Everybody seemed to be so hyped about 09 Pinot Noirs. Yeah, everyone got really pumped about Right, it was crazy, right? Um, it was like a, a, a banner across the sky in an airplane. <laughs> you know, 2009 Pinot Noir, you know? Well, it got, um, for the first time in a while, it got cool in September. So we were able to let the grapes mature for longer. Okay. So the actual physiological ripeness of the grape was able to um, progress over a longer period of time. Okay. So instead of getting a short, sharp hit of sugar, we were able to leave it on for longer and build up all those secondary flavors, right. and all that added ripeness. And we had really, um, really cool evenings and warm days, and a big difference between the two. And that really just helps the fruit just ripen and mature, right. prevents disease, and right. just gives us a little bit of a longer, slower maturation. And it right. just gives it all that delicacy and length and complexity. It's <laughs> so we got lucky one vintage. There's other places in the world that have a, a climate similar to what you talked about, where it's always like cool at night, well, warm. Everyone talks about Burgundy. Right. And that's what everyone's trying to link Niagara to. Ah. And if we can aspire to be like those guys, then we're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's give it a shot here. It smells incredible. Cheers. Man. Cheers. It's got a beautiful finish. Yeah, and it's really elegant. It starts off quite fruity, but it's it giving kind of shivers. <laughs> it's through nicely, doesn't it? And there's a nice acid acidity, and uh, that backbone just keeps it going. Yeah, it gives you a real nice length. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Yeah, well, it's awesome. Thanks very much, man. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Cheers, Cheers. man. Take care.